Hey and welcome, I'm Solo and this is ZN Gaming. In this video I'll be going over how to update your MSI motherboards BIOS. Before I waste any more time let's jump into it. In this example we are using an MSI X470 Gaming Plus. If you're not using the same motherboard this process will be the same for most MSI motherboards. If you're not sure what motherboard you have or what BIOS version that you're on you can just restart your computer and you can spam the delete button well it loads up. Once you boot to the BIOS, at the very bottom you will see a DMI information and the system information. The system information is going to let you know what your BIOS version is and it's going to say BIOS build date. Now mine says 07252022 so it's quite old. I know this is going to need an update. Now we know what BIOS version that we have. We just need to figure out what motherboard we have. To figure this here out, let's just click on the DMI information. In the desktop board information, you're going to see that it's an X470 Gaming Plus. So you're going to see it here in the product name. So this is going to be where you find that information. All you're going to need to do is write it down so that we know what BIOS to look for on the website. After you write that information down, you can write down the BIOS information, but we can see that it's from 2022 and we know that any BIOS from 2023 or 2024 is going to be better. So we're just going to go over here to save and exit and we're going to save changes and reboot. Click on yes to continue. Now that we have the basic information, we're ready to get started. And once the computer loads back up, let's just jump over to the website so that we can download the BIOS. To find the BIOS update, all we're going to need to do is type in our motherboard information, which is MSI X470 Gaming Plus, and we should be able to click the first link on the top. It's going to load in to the support page, and the first one here is going to be drivers and download. Right here, we're going to be able to see that the newest BIOS was launched in 2024. So this one's going to be quite a bit newer, and from here, we're just going to click the download, and it should start automatically. I will make sure to leave links to everything down in the description below. Once it's downloaded, we're just going to be able to open the folder here. So you can just open it in your downloads. We're going to right click it and extract all. We definitely want to make sure that we extract this here folder. And once it's extracted, we can just close everything here. For this next part, we're going to need a USB drive. So one second while I plug in the USB drive. Once you plug it in, it should load up automatically. This is going to help us. This is going to make it really easy. All we're going to need to do is drag over the folder that we just extracted. So we extracted it. There's going to be two folders here. One's going to have a zipper on it. We're going to take the one that we just extracted and drag it over to the USB drive. Now that we see the 7B79, we're just going to remember 7B79 so that when we boot back into the BIOS, we'll remember what file to click on. Now we can just close all this here. Now we can just close all this here out. And all we're going to need to do now is to restart again. And we're just going to restart it. Now make sure to spam delete when it's loading up so that we can load back into the BIOS. Once the BIOS loads up, we're just going to go over here to where it says M flash. If your BIOS looks a little bit different, just look for the M flash tool. Uh, usually when the, the older BIOS, it had like uh, an easy view. It might be in a little bit different place, but just click the M flash utility and select one file to update the BIOS. System will auto rebooting with default settings loaded and entering M flash. Do you want to run M flash? We're just going to click yes. This is just going to reboot right back into the BIOS. It's entering flash mode. It's going to ask us to select the file. From here, we can see our, our Kingston data traveler. We're going to click on it. We're going to see this here 7B79. Now this is all we needed to remember. We know this is the correct file and we're going to give it a click. It should start doing the update automatically once it's clicked on. It's going to give you a warning. Please do not remove the USB drive and do not shut the system off. I definitely highly suggest doing this at a time when you don't have to worry about power outages or any kind of problems with restarting or upsetting your power. Having a power outage or an interruption at this here installation stage can actually cause you quite a bit of problems to get it fixed. This process shouldn't take too long. It'll vary with each motherboard. So definitely keep that in mind when you get this here started. Make yourself a cup of coffee. It's going to take a few minutes. All right, once it's done, it should restart on its own. It might restart more than one time and automatically boot back into Windows. Now, if it boots all the way back into Windows, I want you to restart now, spam delete and get back into the BIOS. There's a couple of things that are going to be changed now that the BIOS has been updated. It's going to reset everything to the default. So let's just boot back to the BIOS and change a few settings there. We're just going to spam the delete button while it's restarting here. Once the BIOS loads up again, we're just going to go over here to overclocking. 
So overclocking says it's in expert mode, but I don't think this here really matters. If it's in normal, it's probably still going to have your XMP settings. But we're going to scroll down here to the AXMP settings, and it says disabled. But we want to make sure that we set this on profile 1 or 2, so that this here sets our RAM at the correct speeds. We're going to stick it on profile 2 because profile 2 is going to set our because this is going to set our DDR4 to 2933 I think we have 3000 megahertz speed RAM in here so it's a little unfortunate it's slow but you can adjust the frequency yourself if you would like to for now we're just going to turn on the XMP because that is something that I definitely suggest you do after you do a fresh BIOS install XMP profile is set to at least one of the profiles or DOCP depending on your motherboard MSI calls it a X XMP and all you have to do is select the profile like I did and on ASUS it'll say DOCP and it'll be in the same overclocking settings but all we're going to need to do from here is just save and exit save changes and reboot and click yes if you do happen to play with any of the other RAM settings just make sure that you're playing with them in spec or if you happen to have any problems with stability things crashing differences in games and stuff like that there happened to blue screen or anything like that there just make sure you dial it down a little bit you could make your system a little unstable if you happen to play with them and, and set them a little bit too high so when setting your ram frequency make sure that you're setting it within spec sometimes when you do a bios update it's going to make you reset your pin to do this all you're going to have to do is set up my pin and it's going to make you sign in with your microsoft account password it's going to say, are you sure? You should only reset your pin if you've forgotten it or it stopped working. This here does happen sometimes when you're resetting the BIOS or if you change hardware. So if you make a major change to hardware like uh, changing your hard drive into a new system or change your CPU and motherboard, this here does happen. So it is good to go through this here process and make sure that it's and make sure that you fix it correctly and just set yourself a new pin. Once the pin is set, it might ask you again on another restart if you happen to do an update for Windows to reset your pin again just make sure to do it and I just wanted to make sure I left it in here because it is perfectly normal for this year to happen when you do a massive or major BIOS update but that's it for this one here if you think I forgot or left something out definitely leave it in the comments below and if you like or found the video helpful hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content thanks for watching bye